in today's video, I am here with a challenge video. You guys see a bunch of my videos, like the No Mirror Makeup Challenge, the 5 Minute Makeup Challenge, all these different challenges, and I really wanted to come up with my own challenge, and I think I did. I definitely researched this and made sure no one else came up with this. As far as I've seen, no one did do this challenge yet, but if you guys did see someone do this, let me know down below, but hopefully not. I really wanted to come up with a fun challenge that people can start doing and maybe it could become a hit. So hopefully no one's done this challenge. The challenge I came up with is the pacifier challenge. This challenge you're gonna be doing your entire face makeup, like your foundation, your cream products, all using a pacifier. Like a little sponge on the end, it's plastic, kind of like a silicone sponge. And I thought it'd be really interesting to use this to see how it works as a sponge. And hopefully this challenge goes well and it works well. I have high hopes for this. It is a little bit small for foundation, but I think it will work really well for your cream products and your concealer and stuff. But we're going to be trying it for the foundation, everything else on the face. So yes, if you guys want to see me do the pacifier challenge, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup using a pacifier. I bought this pack. It comes with two pacifiers, both the same size. As you guys see, I already did my eyebrows and my eyes, so let's get started on the foundation. I already primed my skin. I use the Too Faced Hangover RX 3 and Runner Punishing Primer. If you guys have not seen my review on this, I'll leave it up here or down below. So yes, I have two foundations with me. I'm not sure if I wanted to use a liquid foundation or more of like a stick foundation, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use the liquid. I feel like it will work a lot best with this uh, pacifier. So for that, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Mine's in the shade Y225. I'm so nervous, so I'm just going to be squirting it on a little pan right here. Alright, so I'm going to dot this on my skin first, and then hopefully I can blend it out. So let's see. It's a little hard to hold. It's actually working. Do you see that? And it's really nice to get in like the small areas like under your eye. Do you see that? Hello? This literally did not soak up any product. It blends everything so nicely. Nothing looks blotchy. It doesn't look like I have too much makeup on. Oh my gosh. That actually worked. That actually, oh my gosh. And it was so easy to get like in the crevices on my nose because sometimes it's really hard. And it was so easy to get like around my eyebrows. I could easily just go right around it. <gasps> yes. All right, we'll go to the other side. Look at that, my foundation is on. This one was a little bit difficult to hold, and of course it did take longer than a sponge, but like, hello, if you don't have a sponge and you have like a little baby or something, like this will work. Like if you're like on vacation and the only thing they have in the store is like a pacifier, hello, do you see that? Like it looks actually good. Like it doesn't look bad at all. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and highlight and conceal. For that, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Mine's in the shade 15 Fair Claire. I'm just going to pop that wherever I usually highlight. I'm going to do one side. I don't want it to dry. I'm excited for this because I feel like this would really work well because the size. I'm just going to dab and rub. That literally worked.
I just highlighted my face, blended it out with a pacifier. Like, I can't believe it. Zoom you guys in. Like, it actually looks good. It doesn't look cakey. Like, it looks real good. The foundation looks good. Like, I'm so impressed. So now I'm going to cream contour. I'm taking the Tardis Pore Palette, and I'm taking the shade Shade, and let's, let's do this. I'm going to be taking um, the other pacifier I have, so it's a little bit clean. I'm just going to dip right into that. And then take the other one that I used to blend the highlight out. a little messy here so I'm just gonna go back with a little bit of that concealer and just lightly fix that guys I'm not even joking like do you see this right now do you see? Oh, I can't can't even believe it to so the other side So I'm going to go back in with that concealer like last time and just clean it up. I'm like chiseled to the core. Look, of course it's not blended perfectly, but it does the damn job. I'm so impressed right now. Okay, so now I have to cream blush. So I'm taking this one by MAC. It's in Lazy Sunday. It's our casual color lip and cheek. And I'm just going to dip it right into it. And, like, this is amazing. And lastly, for the cream products, I have my Liquid Illuminator by Cover Effects in Celestial. I'm going to apply this. I'm excited for this. I hope this really works. I can't believe it. This actually worked. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face, do the powders and everything, and then I'll be right back to tell you guys my final. Okay, so I am back. This is the makeup. I didn't touch it up at all. I just went ahead and put my powders over top of it. Guys, do you see this? This would not look good if it did not work. Like, this works. I'm so impressed with this, and I, I, I just am obsessed. Look at this. My foundation looks amazing. My cream products, my contours. I feel like it never looked this good. Like, all of my powders went on top so good because the cream really stuck to it. And oh, it looks so, so good. Okay, so that is it for the pacifier challenge. I have to say, this worked so well. Like, it was the same as a sponge. Of course, it didn't suck up as much product, so it made you look a tiny bit cakey, but once you put the powders over top of it, like, it looks so flawless. Like, I'm not joking. I didn't touch it up at all. I didn't use another sponge. I didn't do anything like that. I went ahead and just put my powders over top of it, 
and it just looks so, so good. I am so excited about this challenge. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. So yes, I encourage all YouTubers to do this challenge. I challenge you to go ahead and do the pacifier challenge. Do your full face of makeup using only a pacifier. So go tell all YouTubers that you like, go tell them to do this challenge, tag me in it, credit me for this challenge, and I would love to see what you guys do using this, what your opinions on it, if it worked for you, because I think it worked so, so well, and I am so excited because I was so shocked that it worked this well. So yes, go ahead, do the pacifier challenge, hashtag the pacifier challenge, and yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and of course, share this video on Facebook, share anywhere, and yes, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.